perfection. What does he know? I need to go to the toilet. I don't know where it is. I'm not going to ask. Hello. <laughs> don't know who he is. Where's this door go to? That will probably go to the toilet in here. I'm not sure. Who's all these people? What are they all doing there? They're all waiting for me. Who's he? Oh, she's pretty. Oh, dear. Don't look so good. I wonder what he's in for. I wonder if he's coming the same as I wonder if he's got an infection. I need to get to the toilet, but I don't know where it is now. I don't want to ask anybody because I don't want to be a bit of a nuisance. There's a door there. I'll try that door. I wonder if, it's, what if the toilet's in here. Has it locked? I can't get in. Well, who's in there? Nope. No. No, I don't like it. Well, there's some doors. Why are they all look the same? Why can't they put signs on things so that people know where people are going? So hopefully, I just need the toilet. Oh, it's another one locked. Just an opening, I'm not sure. What is that? It's... There's another door. Please be open. No, oh, no. Oh. Why did they do it all the same? Toilet. Oh. Where am I? I don't remember any of this. What's... Well, where am I supposed to go? Well, she said a lot of me for I don't even know. I mean, it's very nice of her. I don't even... I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I really don't... What? All these doors, they all look the same. Oh, there's somebody there. I wonder if I should... No, I'm not going to ask. I can't. I don't, I don't want to be a nuisance to anybody. If I, if I drop something, is that mine? I can't pick it up. Why can't I pick it up? Why? What? What do you mean? Everything's all right. Well, she's taking me. Well, she said everything's all right. Well, she's taking me... Who are these people? What does she mean? Come on. I don't want to be in here. There's, there's other people in here. And she wants me to sit on the bed. I don't want to sit on the bed. What is she doing? She's taking me slippers. What's she doing with me slippers? Why is she doing I don't want to be here. Why is she putting me in bed? I don't want to stop it. This isn't my bed. This is not my home. I shouldn't be here. I want my mum. This isn't my. It's not. It's not my house. This. I don't want to go home. I just want to. The Donate One Pound for Dementia Appeal aims to raise two hundred thousand pounds for the Bolton NHS Charitable Fund in order to help us build a dementia-friendly ward here at the Royal Bolton Hospital. So dementia is not a disease in itself. It's a term that's used to describe a number of symptoms um, that affect the capacity of the brain to hold memories. There are a number of conditions that fall within that group. Um, probably the most common that people hear about a lot is Alzheimer's disease. It affects the capacity to hold memories. Um, the, the brain function deteriorates. Um, and you, often the, the short-term memory uh, ability of a person uh, is lost. A dementia-friendly environment is designed to give as little stress to dementia sufferers as possible. We want to install special fixtures, such as memory boxes at the end of beds containing small personal items that can help patients to identify their bed area. Use of coloured feature walls can help patients to identify a ward area or a space and can equally be used to disguise doors and other areas not for patient use. Pictorial signage can help patients who find words and text difficult to process, helping them to navigate their way around the ward. Themed communal spaces can help to relax patients, taking them back to a time they can remember, such as a lounge with 1960s decor, a potting shed or even a bus stop. Bolton Foundation Trust um, has an aim to provide dementia friendly environments for its patients. We have an aim to have a dementia friendly ward uh, which is fully kitted with all of the equipment needed to provide that fully functional dementia friendly environment. When I first qualified as a nurse um, the treatment of elderly care in general and probably particularly patients who have mental health needs like dementia uh, wasn't great. 
I remember experiencing um, patients who were on long-term hospital wards and were nursed in cots. Uh, so that's adults nursed in cots. Um, we've come on a lot since then, um, you know, and I think the focus around elderly care and particularly dementia over the last 20 years has been phenomenal and that's really improved the experience of those patients who use hospital and community services. We want to provide the Bolton communities with compassionate, kind, respectful care in environments that are conducive to delivering care and treatment to, to all patients. Thankfully, I'm just an actress. I don't suffer from dementia, or at least not yet. But I do have first-hand knowledge of someone that does suffer from this terrible disease. My mum suffers from advancing dementia. Majority of the time she knows who I am. But sometimes she's no idea. She ran her own business. She's an intelligent woman. Now, she couldn't even make your cup of tea. She lives in a world that's completely different from ours. If you can imagine a hospital, the unfamiliar surroundings, it's daunting to the best of us. So I hope this film gives you an insight into how it would feel if you suffered from dementia. Like my mum. Dementia's an awful condition. It can affect any one of us, all your loved ones. So please, support us in this charitable campaign by donating at least one pound to the Bolton NHS Charitable Fund. It's to make being in hospital as stress-free as possible for patients who suffer with dementia. Here's mine. Here's mine. Tweet a picture of yourself with your pound using the hashtag D14D. Donate one for dementia. Thank you.